covering every county. This is your statewide newscast, Arkansas Today. Good afternoon, I'm Mallory Brooks. Thanks for joining us for Arkansas Today. Of course, weather is our top story mm -hmm. this afternoon. Joining us is meteorologist Pat Walker as we're keeping an eye on the sky. Slight mm -hmm. risk of severe weather at this point. Yeah, we started the day with uh, most of the state mm -hmm. with a slight risk and, and parts of the state with an enhanced risk. And a lot of the rain and thunderstorms actually has moved in sooner and that, even though we don't want rainfall, right? We don't want any more flooding concerns. The, the early arrival of the rain and thunderstorms actually has done a lot to help diminish the severe weather risk. So the 30% no longer here. And even in northwest Arkansas, we've decreased it down to a marginal. Even parts of Benton County, and even some parts of Washington County, totally even out of the marginal risk now. So we're still talking about central, north, and south Arkansas, at least with a risk of severe weather here for this afternoon. So let's take a look now at the radar and satellite imagery. We've had the storms roll into west Arkansas all morning long. We've had the rainfall there. They're beginning to move into central Arkansas too. One strong thunderstorm around Perry County. Other strong storms around Hope right now in southwest Arkansas. But the, it really looks like at this point for the afternoon, if we're going to see some severe weather, it's going to be in far south Arkansas and maybe down in the Arklatex too. It's where it's probably going to be most likely. There is a pretty strong thunderstorm now in western Perry County that just crossed over Hot Springs Village. Some scattered showers and trying some thunderstorms trying to develop in central Arkansas. But from Arkadelphia down to Prescott to Hope, almost to Texarkana, at least to the, the Red River, we're looking at very heavy rainfall and down into Magnolia as well. So Magnolia to Texarkana and southward, we still may have a chance of more severe storms there this afternoon. So we're going to watch these storms march eastward, and that's going to help limit the instability this afternoon, but still a chance for some isolated severe storms this afternoon. One thing that we'll have to be aware of is maybe some chances of storms for tonight that could briefly turn severe. And of course, flash flooding is going to continue to be a big threat. We're looking at temperatures where that rain cooled area is in the 60s out ahead of it. We are looking at temperatures in the lower to mid 70s. Mallory? Pat, thank you. Some central Arkansas schools dismissing early today because of expected severe weather. Pulaski County Special School District will be dismissing elementary schools at 1 p.m. today and secondary schools at 2 o'clock. The Lone Oak School District is closing for potential flooding at 1 o'clock as well. Police arrest a man in the December death of his two-month-old son. Texarkana, Texas police arrested 25-year-old Shamari Center at a motel Tuesday afternoon. According to reports, officers responded because they got a report of a baby not breathing. The child was airlifted to Children's Hospital in Little Rock. The child died from brain hemorrhaging and multiple rib fractures. Center was charged with murder and injury to a child. A new law will gradually raise Arkansas's minimum smoking age from 18 to 21 by 2021. Starting September 1st, anyone under the age of 21 will be unable to buy any tobacco products, including e-cigarettes. There is an exemption to that law. That is for members of the military. It also won't apply to smokers who turn 19 before the year 2020. One North Little Rock shop owner doesn't think the new law will be bad for business. People want to smoke, they'll find a way to do it. They always have. Look back through history. Prohibition didn't work. You know, hey, pass all the laws you want. People are going to find a way around it. The same law also increases some cigarette taxes and dedicates an existing tax on medical marijuana. That will pay for a National Cancer Institute designation at UAMS. For the fifth year in a row, the Bentonville Film Festival is debuting films in northwest Arkansas. It is a big deal in the area. What can you look forward to at that event? World premieres and panels that deal with the mission of the Bentonville Film Festival. BFF works to foster inclusion and diversity on film, on camera, behind the scenes, and in business. The rain has canceled events today at outdoor film venues, though. A statewide competition gives student filmmakers exclusive views of the Bentonville Film Festival. The Ozark Media Arts Festival is collaborating with BFF this year by documenting its events through pictures and videos. 30 students from eight high schools and two colleges will be behind the cameras at BFF panels, screening, and blue carpet events. Student filmmakers have to go through a lengthy process to prove they have what it takes. Their passion, their readiness, um, their technical skills, of course, but also the readiness to say yes, um, being a person of yes. I've been involved with film for so many years, and this is basically making me a part of something bigger than myself. And I'm so excited to be here and res representing people that usually don't get representation in the media. They will highlight BFF's mission of inclusion and diversity in film, in particular for women and minorities. 
Let's take a look at the day ahead on this Wednesday, May the 8th. In today's news, William Barr has refused to comply to a subpoena to release Robert Mueller's complete report to Congress. Committee Chairman Gerald Nadler had said Monday morning as the deadline for the Justice Department to provide Congress with the full unredacted report. Rideshare drivers go on strike today, demanding fair wages, full benefits, and regulated fares. They're striking ahead of Uber going public Friday morning. New York rideshare drivers will strike from 7 to 9 during the morning rush hours. Uber and Lyft drivers in other cities will strike for a full 24 hours. And the Senate Judiciary Subcommittee holding a hearing on the humanitarian and security crisis at the southern border. Officials with the U.S. Customs and Border Protection Department are among those scheduled to testify. Britain's newest royal meets the world, and we now know his name. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle proudly showing off their newborn baby at the Sussex home in Windsor Castle. The infant slept right through the first media encounter. Meghan says her son has the sweetest temperament, adding that he's calm and just a dream. Okay, are you ready to hear the name? We just learned it this morning. Archie Harrison, Mountbatten, Windsor. That's right, baby Archie, the royal baby, and he is a doll. Queen Elizabeth is expected to meet her new great-grandson, her eighth great-grandchild, and seventh in line to the throne later today. The Razorback softball team is heading to Texas to begin the SEC tournament. The girls